Okay, so um, this little video is going to talk about arrays. Um, rectangular arrays and radial arrays is what we uh, call them um, for the SQ8. So rectangular being um, patterns in uh, rectangles. So if we look here, they call it a linear pattern in on shape where we can create uh, multiple instances in two directions, or also circular patterns. So we would call that a, a radial array. So if we look at this fan here, for example, we've got what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blades coming out of it. Have I modeled them all? Would that be a pain? Yes, it would be a total pain. So I have modeled one, and then I have created here, look, a circular pattern that repeats those around the central axis. So it's kind of like a, I suppose a development of a revolve in a way and that we've got uh, something happening around an axis. So um, uh, the other way, other array which I'll start with, which is a simpler one, is just a, uh, a rectangular array. So here's a Lego block. I've, I've, I've put, started making it. I've got my top little um, uh, sticky out bit there and I've got one of the hollows in the bottom. Um, so if I wanted only three of these, um, I could obviously model all three. I could have drawn when I drew my sketch, if I find out which that extrusion is. Um, I could have drawn that sketch there, look, um, done it three times and then just extruded them all. Um, a bit clunky. I could also have actually um, created an array in my sketch, but I would strongly advise against doing that. You've got a lot more control if you do it um, as a feature. So what do we need to do? We need to create a, sh a, a feature. We want to create a, a pattern of it. A linear pattern, a, a rectangular array. We're going to need to select that bit. Now, on shape here again, you're asking us the question: What are we having a pattern? What are we arraying? It's not a part. It's not a phase. It's a feature. So we want to create, a, find a feature, and we want to duplicate it. So our feature in this instance is extrusion four. Uh, it's then asking the direction. So it's saying, well, where I can obviously create as many of these as you like, but in what direction do you want them to go? So we need to click on that one there and give it a. a uh, direction to do that we're just going to select an edge so I set that edge because I want my um, pattern to be going in that direction and you can see here it's dropped one up here now it's obviously not the right spacing I can put what in uh, the one the spacing I need in and I actually want three so we can control uh, how many we have and how far apart they are we can also control the distance Okay, and we can make them uh, centered as well. So the one that we started with, if you if you are creating a part where it was easier to draw in the middle, you could create a um, parts either side of it. Okay, I don't want to do that. So there we have it. That's those. So there's those parts. Now how about this one up here? Uh, well, this is going to be similar. Um, uh, the reason I wouldn't want to create all of those is going to be difficult, and I've also got this Lego extrusion. So if I had to do that on every single one, that would that would take me a long, long, a long time. Take me more time than I would care to spend on it. So let's do a rectangular array. Same as before, we're going to go for that tool. We're going to say it's a feature pattern. And uh, the features are, what well, we're going to look for, so we can find what they are. It's going to be that one there, which is the main shape. And it is also going to be the little Lego um, word as well. Next question. Uh, direction what direction am I going in well I'm going to go in one of these edges and again it's it's gone off up there my spacing again is 8.12 I don't know why Lego went with such odd numbers maybe it's uh, an inch thing I don't know anyway here we go so we've got two I want four um, and it is going in the right direction so that's fine I want them to be going that way oops there we go so I've got all four now this time I want another row so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit second direction. What that means is I can choose the other edge and I can say um, I want them to be another row next to it. So again, it's going to be 8.12. This time I need two. And that's not the right space for it. I want them to be the other side so I can flip the direction and it's going to drop them in there. And there we have... Um, a, a Lego part which was much quicker for me to make like that than to have drawn all those bits. Um, it also means obviously if I wanted to change the size of something I can find the uh, the sketch that relates to it and I can make that one bigger and it's going to make all the other ones bigger as well. So it's going to carry that on up through the through the pattern. Okay, So a much more efficient way of creating um, parts that are have got these, these patterns in them. So that's the rectangular. So we're going in, in directions. The um, 
radial here, or the circular one as on shape calls it, is much the same, although rather than setting a direction for the for the pattern, you're, you're setting an axis. So we want to have a line. If I zoom in here, there would be somewhere a line that is going, there we are, that's the one. That's the axis about which these blades have been patterned. So let's show you. I've got a little chain ring, which is which is going to be. I need need some more old frizzy teeth. Um, I've got my axis already lined up. Uh, so if I look at this one here, I've got two parts to that cut out. So let's go to a circular pattern. It's going to be again. It's going to be a feature pattern, and I want it to be. I've lost where I am. That one and that one, and them are two features. My axis is this one here. And I actually want there to be, I've just not picked up, axis is there, and I want there to be 52. Okay, so that should drop in there. So there is my chain ring. Okay, now I've also got the lug here, it's going to fit onto the, the crank itself, and I want five of those. So again, I can use my circular pattern tool. Uh, I want to do a feature, and I need to find these features. There's a few here. I've got extrusion two, I've got extrusion three, which is a little hole here, and I've also got extrusion four, which is a little cutter here that allows it to fit to the, the crank itself. Now, uh, axis here, uh, let's crack on that one there. Now, uh, this is something I've recently discovered. Uh, if I try and do that, let's put my five in, you'll see I've got red. It's not doing it, okay? Um, and the reason it's not doing it is because that, part here is added to the main ring it for some reason it sort of seems to have tied it in in such a way that it, it's trying to actually um, create the pattern not just of these bits but also of the entire ring that that's connected to so how do we avoid that well there's a little button here it says apply per instance and if I click that it's now just using the actual part I'm looking for um, and it is going to, it's done an array and it's done an array of five around that space. So if you have a problem with the thing you're using for the radial array, it's not coming out or it's, it's saying it can't do it, have a look at that one there because it might be that that just fixes your problem. So if I, okay, that one there. So now I've got, there we go, I've got a chain ring with 52 teeth and I've got my five lugs for connecting it to my crank. So rectangular array. Pick your, your, your feature and you're going to have your, your directions and your spacings and the number of um, instances. Uh, a radial array, you're going to have your feature and you're going to have your axis. Um, incidentally, these are all have all gone 360 degrees. Um, you don't have to go the whole distance. If I went for um, half, half of my, here we are, look, I've just done half of it. I've gone 180 degrees and I've gone 26 teeth. So you don't have to go all the way around. You may find that actually you only need 30 degrees or, or what have you. That would be on the drawing. But there's obviously a lot of control there. Um, generally, it does it as equally spaced. Okay, so um, most of the time that's what we would be looking at because we're trying to save time. So I think that's everything um, for um, those two. Uh, it's not just one last thing. It's not just a an extrusion that you can uh, array. This one here is actually a sweep. So if I go back to there, look, this this part here is actually a sweep. I might get you to do this. So I've got a, 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 a path and I've got a profile and I've swept that along that path, extruded it along the path. And then I, that is what I have used to um, do my pattern. OK, so my linear uh, radial array. So it's not there's no not a limit to what you can create the array with. So it could be chamfers included or extrusions, revolves, whatever. So that is a raise. Uh, national five level probably um, it's going to be simple things. Maybe this, maybe a sip, maybe oops, a simple um, chain uh, radial array as well. Um, higher, you're going to be looking maybe something a bit more complicated. So um, I'll I will set you a few tasks um, along these lines to to see if we can um, get your skills up. And hopefully this video will help you do that.